The building of more efficient and smarter cities requires the right technology to facilitate development. It's against this backdrop that government officials are working to transform Nairobi into a smarter and more efficient city. We want to make Nairobi become part of those smart cities uh, that you see worldwide. If you look at uh, New York, London, um, and apparently in New York, IBM is working actually to improve on the systems to make it much more smarter than it has been. From water leakages to oil spillages to stealing electricity and stuff, um, if you can be able to prevent that, then you have created efficiencies. Because in this country, we lose several billions of dollars because of inefficiencies or because of uh, we don't have systems that can allow us uh, to be able to manage the resources the best way we can. Nairobi's current population of 3 million is expected to double in the next 10 years, a challenge which calls for urgent urban planning. There are certain decisions of policy nature that we have made. One of them is there is no way we can have a modern city with the modern lives and everyone takes care of themselves in terms of transport. That is, when you want to move from point A to B, then you have to get your car or you walk on your legs or, or, or your bicycle. It, it doesn't work that way in modern living. So we need high capacity vehicles. We need multimodal transport. We need the roads, we need the rail, we need the pedestrians, we need the bicycles, we need the motorcycles, we need the lot. It's going to be multimodal. So that one we have already done. The way that we can help is as they're, as they're building out the infrastructure. So as, as an example, as they're building out the roads, there is technology that, that, that can be infused inside a road. It's either we put sensors in the road or sensors in, in, in the traffic light and then connecting, connecting the, the sensors on the road that are actually in the transportation system, whether it's rail or road or, or even at airports. And so, so the role that we can have is pulling that information storing it somewhere centrally and then applying software analytics, like the analytic capability that comes with IT to make sense of that information and present it in such a way that it can be used for making smarter decisions. The city is drawing lessons from Rio de Janeiro and Brazil, which has incorporated a system that improves responses to emergencies in the metropolis. Today IBM is working to actually put in place um, um, a, a, a city operation center uh, in, in, enabling the city to keep a, keep, to, to keep a track um, on developments within the city in terms of um, in terms of emergencies, in terms of the availability of public ser public services, um, and I think further down the line, once we understand Nairobi's unique challenges, uh, and once we understand. Uh, the, the, you know, the, the opportunities in place here and the, and the different players involved and once the different players are talking to each other you know, we've got a much greater chance of being able to take a piece of best practice like we have in Rio and apply it here in a meaningful way and a very localised way. The ongoing integration of the public and private sectors has also made it possible for centralised information leading to a more responsive city. That a city represents a system of systems Okay. And for a system of systems to, to operate effectively, all the different parts of the city have to be in communication and have to be integrated. So, for example, the energy sector has to be talking to, has to, be talking to, the, to the transportation sector, which has to be talking to the healthcare sector, to the education sector, and so on and so forth. So the way we're coming into this here in Nairobi is that we're ensuring that... The, that that, you know, that, that, that our approach um, you know, very much starts with, with the dialogue with all the different stakeholders um, fr from the different sectors. There's no doubt that urbanization and rapid population growth have brought the need for effective infrastructure development in Nairobi. But despite this challenge, the city has enormous potential to become a regional powerhouse in East Africa. Reporting for Ion Kenya, I'm Ken Karuri.